Yeah, the album get ready to come out in January. The name of that is Illmatic. Okay, Mo Flow, yeah. my man. So, what are your initial thoughts on Stretch and Bobito? Man, um, it was it was beautiful. It was a part of hip hop history that I had no education about. I had no clue there was a college radio show that you had to make before you make the big leagues. And man, it's just crazy to see how people come from extremely humble beginnings. Like our idols in hip hop were, you know, at the college campus just rhyming and actually they thought that they were proving themselves by being on there man and uh i can i can relate to feeling that way honestly okay so tim we just watched uh stretch and bobito, stretch and bobito document yeah. um your first initial thoughts well, that was amazing uh, that's uh, important for the culture here um history is something that in this manufactured culture a lot of people get stuff they don't know where stuff came from so it's important to go back and study the pioneers and the greats and you know, just as an old head, I'm telling you young guys that all the time. Go back and study your lessons, and you see the guys that are actually want to get in the grind and do it, and the guys that don't. And this is what success actually looks like. If you want to just make money, it doesn't look like this. It come, it's a, This type of stuff is exploited by others, but it doesn't look like this. So, yeah, as a, somebody who was there in the scene back in the day and uh, exposed to a lot of college radio, this was the original formula. Anas Arabi, my man. Anas Arabi, from uh, Run Junction, we are in Saudi Arabia, I'm a Syrian born and raised in Saudi, anyways. Your uh, thoughts on Stretch and Bobito? I just saw Stretch and Bobito and honestly, I'm very disappointed at myself. I thought I knew everything about hip hop and man, like, it's maybe because we were here and we never get to get these cassettes from there, but I was very, you know, surprised to see Okay, my knowledge about DJs from the back in the days, I really don't know much. I know producers, I know rappers. That's you know, that's what you get, and and uh, at the end, and 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 looking at that man, it's just remind you know like. That's exactly where we're living that here right now, and to see people like that, you know, helping out all these artists that we know that are relevant to us, you know, it's it's uh, it's beautiful, man. It's just you know like. All these, you know, like rappers before they became famous, you know, rapping all these verses mm. uh, uh, on, before they were actually released on different beats. So you, it's, it's just like, you know, you know, watching them young and then, you know, looking at them how they are right now. And I just loved Stretch and Bobito's vibe, man. It's like, you know, they were just having fun, you know, just playing beats and having people over. Like, it made me want to become like them instead of the rapper that I wow. am or producer that I am today, actually. Wow. And uh, man, it was it was awesome. Uh, Radio that changed lives was incredible. Um, uh, basically, what that showed me is that all you really need is is passion and love uh, for what you do. You can tell that these guys loved what they did, and that's why it was so successful. And uh, even when you see when it started to go downhill, the reason was they had lost the passion for what it is that they did. Um, so that, that that's inspiring, regardless of what field you're in. My thoughts, I first saw the film uh, in Dubai, I actually flew from uh, you know, Jeddah to Dubai to, to see the film and meet Bobito and Stretch. And for me as a radio host, as a guy who hosts Saudi's first and only FM hip hop radio show, it meant a lot to me because it, they were inspiring, they, were, they knew what to do, they were promoting you know, local talents at that time, they were pushing, what, they're pushing the scene. And that's what's inspiring to me because that's how I go, I don't go by uh, getting the most followed guy or the most popular guy. I go by the guy who's talented and this is how Stretch and Bobito, you know, did this amazing radio show. It was really amazing to meet them. I had, they're so humble. Um, when I, when I, I remember vividly, I took the mic to ask him a question and me and Bobito have been talking on the internet for a while, on the email, and he's like, this is big hearts, give him a big round of applause and the crowd all gave me a big round of applause and I felt, Humble, humble, and that's something very, very, very important. Um, I love the Eminem scene with like uh, the freestyle he was spitting, but honestly, 
the dopest artist that talked about it in the interviews was Nas, man. The way Nas put it together, like, he was so appreciative of what they have done. And it just, it, man, like, that humble side. He, he he connected back to being an underground artist trying to make it. And it's crazy hearing, like, yo, this is Nasty Nas, and I'm about to put this album out in January. It's going to be called Illmatic. So, like, mm. that was just crazy. It's like a flashback to, to hip-hop history. A message to Stre uh, Stretch and Barbito. Uh, mad respect. We, 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 I don't know what to tell you. We're going through the same era here in, 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 uh, in you know, Arabia. It's, it's very similar to... The same time you guys were on the radio, we have similar shows that are on at you know different times and, and, and very rarely. So we know what you guys did, and and we we have people doing the same here, and and, and we connect with you guys so much. It's crazy. Buffalo, peace, man. Hey, hey, take care. <laughs> you know, and it was great to see it. Do you have any favorite scenes in the documentary? Because I saw you were interacting. Oh, with I mean, like some of the verses and stuff. You know, I hadn't heard them because. Of, I was too far away from this stuff to hear a lot of this, so we would hear about this stuff from people sending tapes and stuff, but we didn't, if somebody had a tape, it was crazy, you know, but uh, and we'd hear it, we wouldn't even know it was Stretch and Bobbito, sometimes guys are straight up copping the show, Stretch and Bobbito taking the tunes or whatever and straight copying it off and putting it off as their own show, mm -hmm. so yeah, there was, there was bootlegging going on, there was all kinds of things going on, so it brought back, I guess, a lot of memories of artists and hearing verses. Also seeing the rappers that have fallen, you know, Big L, yeah. Big Pun, Big E. As an East Coast kid, I mean, that's, you know, brought back a lot of history, but a part that even I feel like I was a part of, even though I was here. Um, so, no, for me, the whole thing was dope. Wow. If you could meet Stretch and Bobby, what would your message to them be? Oh, man, they're, they're inspiring people. And, um, I mean, by, I'm, I'm glad that they put this documentary together because... Uh, you know, it shows people that um, things things are possible, even in in their case where you know they're on a rate. When uh, when Stretch was saying that uh, when he first told them he wanted to do a hip hop radio they show, all they were looking at each other and laughed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just think it's it's great what, what they're what they did in the past and what they're doing now, and um, yeah, just they should be happy that they've uh, you know they got to live that era and be a part of it. So. Cool. I don't know. I, I really like the scene uh, for me when 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 they were when their parents were talking to them. It felt like they were you know very proud and it's like they're walking in the street. They just started to stretch. Oh my God! You started to beetle. It for me this is amazing because this will go on forever. And 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 I, I love the fact that Nas was there, Eminem was there, Biggie, Big Pun, all these big big huge names that sell me. Fat Joe, all these people. I love the fact that Stretch on Barbito show helped. A guy in prison helped a guy in prison to rhyme. That is so inspiring. You know what? Sometimes you don't hear about these things. If you can affect one man and affect his life, done. So, big up to you guys. Um, some of my favorite scenes, man, is this, uh, that <laughs> when Method Man broke in, like, I don't know, pushed the lady or something. Oh, yeah. Then he went on and apologized. Yeah. You know, that, that was uh, humble of him. And, 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 like, you know, it's like funny because it's, it's like you're just walking in you know just to have fun and just watching Jay-Z you know like wait for half an hour for stretching Bobby to, to, wow. to, to you know to, get to, to walk in and to be on their show that was that was you know like wow a lot of memories so any messages to Bobby and stretch thank you you know we're all the way in Saudi Arabia where we're still in our organic environment and um, we've got guys like Big Haas here to try to we're trying to show the young ones that you know this this fast route, this quick money and stuff, this isn't really art. This isn't really the way to go. And to see, you know, you guys and what you did, it means a lot to us. And it gives a lot of us a, a, a map or a floor plan, you know, some type of way that we can map out and create some real art and hopefully get this stuff in Arabic popping before all that other bullshit gets involved. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tim Grand Run Junction, thank you. My pleasure, man. Stretch! Stretch <laughs> Bobito! <laughs> Take care. And, and my message to them is... Um, I really hope to meet you guys again. We screened today, uh, uh, Stretch on Barbito Radio Change Live in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia for a very small crowd, uh, mainly into hip-hop and rappers, but Saudi Arabia is a very difficult place to, to screen films in the first place, but I'm very honored that you gave me the right to do so, and I'm very happy, and I think everybody else was really happy, and I just want to say to you guys, thank you for inspiring me personally, and thank you for... I told you that when I met you for rejuvenating somehow recharging me with an energy because I really really feel low at times and you guys came at the right time and 
somehow pick me up. So one love to you guys. Peace. Salute. Then you learn to say, but cocks are rocks where my clock makes the pal sound. I'm from a wild town, you know my style clowns are bow down. I was playing this other day. Same line, same line, I got my man JC, yeah. Yo, my brothers get back, get borrowed, still feel sorrow with Jay. Seem like sorrow, get in that ass, fill up tomorrow. I'm too much, nigga, so never should you rush. 